Well, we're nearing the end of October, fall is in the air, and what a better time to throw at you my annual BP Weather Winter Forecast. And a new look to things this year, but I think it's cool, and I don't think anyone's going to complain about that, so let's get to it. Speaking of the winter, here's a look at what I'm watching in terms of what I use to make this winter forecast. A weak to moderate La Nina, that's the climate clue, that's the cold water out in the Pacific Ocean that actually influences our weather. Snow cover up in the Arctic is ahead of schedule from what it usually is this time of year, and that has big implications for cold air masses. And also this historical rule of three. Typically when you put successive La Nina years together, they get progressively snowier. So keep that in mind, considering last winter we had a La Nina, and last winter we had 39 inches. So keep that in the back of your head. Now speaking of last winter, January was certainly the snow overdose, and it was bookended by relatively more tranquil weather. We saw 27 of our 39 inches of snow last winter during January, and then just little bits in December and also February. So actually this winter I think this is going to be pretty much flip-flop from what it was last year. So kind of throwing some hints your way as to what we can expect this year. So last year kind of defied the odds of La Nina. Typically in La Nina years our jet stream stays to the north and west, keeping cold air up through the Great Lakes and up into Canada and allowing for some warmer air to move in into the mid-Atlantic and also the southeastern part of the United States. But as I mentioned last year our winter pattern found that loophole in the law and it allowed for real cold air to dig into the eastern part of the country with this trough and areas of low pressure were able to ride up the eastern seaboard and strengthen especially during January and we saw plenty of cold and heavy snow to go around during last winter with this pattern that isn't too typical for La Nina years and this winter we will start out with a pattern similar to this and that's the call so now that I've laid the groundwork for you, told you the kind of the climate clues behind the winter, it's time to unveil my exclusive BP Weather Winter Forecast. Let's start with December, shall we? We will be watching for December to feature a real brutal start. So winter's going to come in with a bang. Temperatures during the month of December are going to be below the normal monthly average of 41 degrees. With that brutal start and an active storm track continuing, we're going to see some consistent snows during the month. Snowfall is going to be well above that normal monthly average, which sits just around 5 inches. Also, what's in December? Well, it's Christmas. Typically, we see a 30% odds of a white Christmas, but this year, with the way the pattern's setting up, I'm calling for about a 70% chance to have the white stuff on the ground for Christmas Day. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, as we move into January, though, things are going to start to change a little bit. Our storm track is going to take one that's more typical of La Nina years, taking storms toward the north and west of us, keeping the bulk of the snow to the north and west as well, and bringing rain from the Lehigh Valley area toward the south and east. So January, I expect more of those sloppy, messy wintertime storms that we had a few years back. So unlike last January, which brought all the heavy snow. So let's talk about this January. We will see temperatures go above average. That'll be a nice switch, though. So a typical January thaw, like everyone seems to know about. And it will still be staying stormy. So when you combine these two, you end up with more of that messy weather. So snowfall will be below the normal monthly snowfall, which is 11 inches. Now, February, things will begin to change again. Winter's going to try to hang on, and that will allow for cold air to come back in. Storms will be moving up the eastern seaboard, I think, and that will allow for more widespread heavy snows, at least the chance of them, during February. And I am calling for at least one pretty big snowstorm for the month. So let's break it down. Temperatures for February will once again drop below what is typical for the month. We'll be below normal and I am calling for at least one big East Coast storm to bring a foot of snow or more. So with that said, you already have above average snow for the month. Normal is 11 and a half. We will be above that. So when you add all this together, when you tally everything up, we will end up with our third above average snow year in a row in Allentown. 41 to 48 inches of snow will fall this winter. The average is 34 inches. So that is the call for this year. So that's the winter forecast. It is looking like our third above average snow year in a row with a lot of snow coming in December and then snow at the tail end with a break in between. So pretty much opposite of last winter. Keep the snow blowers and shovels handy. I'm meteorologist Ben Reppert.